All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my people. Happy weekend to you all. Another picture of Tunubu has surfaced online. This one, whether it's Photoshop or, or Photo Black or, or Photo Town, I don't know. But this is him in the hospital. The question is coming up. The Nigerians are asking, Where is our president? They've started asking again. Oseni has already started asking again, responding to questions of where is Tunubu. You know, this has been the norm. When their president dies or in coma, they will start talking about presidency, presidency, presidency. We can, a uh, president can stay anywhere. He can rent office anywhere. He can stay. That is how you will be hearing it because of regional problems. Yoruba will now stand to start lying. They lie, they lie, and I make a shanya. They'll just be opening eye. Ah, Any and why you are saying of uh, uh, Tunubu? God forbid, nothing will happen to Tunubu. God forbid, God forbid. But they know that something already has happened to him. Man, no be firewood now. You know Tunubu is down. Even nobody knew he would stay up to this point. That drug they are using on him is actually a very big one, very wonderful one indeed, that sustained him up to this time. But I heard that it, an overdose of it has been given to him so he couldn't carry it again. <laughs> I want you to join the national television. Oseni, Oseni is here. Then our brother is the one doing the needful our superstar brother. Let's hear them out. And I'll be right back. Today I'd like to pay tribute to a great woman called Dora Coeli. When the time came like this, okay. that the health of Yaradua was from Bona, mm -hmm. Dora Coeli came out to say, I'm Minister for Information and I have no information. Okay. If you tell us where the president is, that's actually the question. Doctor, but one point you did not make is that it's also bad for national security. That the president of a sovereign state is in a foreign land. It's also very bad for national security. Mm. That's how we all collectively condemned President Buhari when he spent almost half of the year outside. Okay. These were those that condemned President Yaradua. Mm -hmm. These were those that did occupy Nigeria. But now I see my friend Daniel Buala say a hey, president can live from any part of the world. That is fine. <laughs> You should go and open office in Rafa and Gaza. I think that, that's there. scandalous. Huh? Really. Let's, let's, stop, let's stop all of this. Just, now. just respond to Nigeria. Let's stop Where all of this. is President fair. Bola yeah. Ahmed? Okay, that's continue, really continue. The question now. Continue. Yeah. I'm coming. We'll take another treat. Today I'd like to pay tribute to a great woman called Dora Koyeli. Listen. When the time came like this, and the health of Yaradua was front burner. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dora Koyeli came out to say, I'm Minister for Information and I have no information. Hold it there. Hello, dear friends. Today, I want you to know that Tinubu is gone the same way Buhari was gone. To some of you, when you heard Nnamdi Kanu and Simon Ekba said Buhari is no more, when you heard them say that Buhari was wearing a mask, the gullible ones who believe everything their eyes sees. As the saying goes, television means tell lies to your vision. Television, when you break it down, it means tell lies to your vision. Because you believe what your eyes sees, your two koro koro eyes, as people used to say back in the days. You believe what your eyes sees, so whatever your eyes sees, you believe. Even though in your Bible, it says, according to Jesus, it said, Blessed are those who have not seen, but yet believe. But because of the zoo and the poverty, the hardship, the kwashoko of their brain, of their thinking capacity, because they believe in the things they only see. The Western world, they knew, if they give you a mask wearer, the man known as Buhari, you will believe he's still alive. Despite our leader Namdekano, he showed you how fresh, how young the hands of Buhari was, but you still believed because you saw a tall, lanky-looking man 
walking about, you believe Buhari was alive. Today, I will reveal to you just one thing. But when it comes to the case of Tinubu, I still hold my stand that Shetima is now your new president. You heard how he turned around and he didn't fly. He chose not to fly to America. They came with the flimsy excuse that there was a breakdown of the plane or whatever, the engine, there were some issues with the plane, with one of the fleets. Fellow Bia friends, I am not a man who means my words. Today, let us listen to what Rafa Yosef said. Then afterwards, I will reveal something to you that will blow your mind. Those of you that believe whatever you see with your eyes, you say you don't believe in what someone tells you until you see them with your kuro kuro eye. You are like the doubting Thomas in the Bible. Today, I will reveal to you and what you will see right now, it will blow your mind. If you're with me, let us go. Listen to the words of Rafa Yosini, then I'll come back and reveal something to you all. Listen. Friends, today I'd like to pay tribute to a great woman called Dora Koyeli. When a time came like this, okay. that the health of Yaradua was front burner. Mm -hmm. Dora Koyeli came out to say, I'm minister for information and I have no information. Okay. He should tell us where the president is. That's actually the question. Doctor, but the one point you did not make is that it's also bad for national security that the president of a sovereign state is in a foreign land. It's also very bad for national security. Mm. That's how we all collectively condemned President Buhari when he spent almost half of the year outside. Okay. These were those that condemned President Yaradua. So those that did occupy Nigeria, but now I see my friend Daniel Buala say a hey, president can live from any part of the world. That is fine. You should go and open office in Rafa and Gaza. I, I think start that, from that's there. scandalous. Huh? Really. Let's let's what stop. Let's stop all of this. Just, now. just respond to Nigeria. Let's stop Where all of this. It's is not fair. President Bola Ahmed? Yeah. Okay, that's continue, really continue. The question. Now. Continue. Yeah. I'm coming. We'll take another treat. Today I would like to pay tribute to a great woman called Dora Koyeli. Listen. When a time came like this. And the health of Yaradua was front burner. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dora Kuyuli came out to say, I'm minister for information and I have no information. Hold it there. He is speaking about the great Dora Akuyuli. A woman I, have, I had the privilege to interview when she was the head of, Nav, of Nav, is it NAFDAC? NAFDAC, I believe. Nationalization of food, drug and whatever. And I wrote a piece about Navdak, which she loved so much. And then she told my boss to put my piece in the middle of an article in our, in our magazine back then. The piece I wrote about her was Navdak and the family. Navdak and the family how the introduction of the iodine salt has been helpful to the rural women and their children. Iodine in the salt, the introduction of iodine salt to help to fortify the vitamins and the rest of them in children from poor background. So may the soul of Dr. Dora Akunyele rest in peace. Amen to that. So, Mr. Rafai is alluding to what she said when she became the foreign minister, I believe, of that Zoo Republic. And when Nigeria was in the pandemonium, in a state of quagmire, everybody were confused. They didn't know the way about about the man they call Yaradua. The cabal, they said, no, even though he's late, we shall not tell the Nigerians because they didn't want somebody who was a South-South to be president. Peter Obi, take notes. Even the VP, the man they call Good Luck Jonathan, he was the VP to Yaradua. And when Yaradua kissed the dust, when Yaradua kicked the bucket, when he met his Waterloo, Lord have mercy. When his water ran 100, 
the cabal, they refused to allow good Lord Jonathan to become president. Peter will be take notes because tonight I will be speaking to you. I'm, I will make a video on you, Peter will be, because this nonsense you are doing, this playing to the gallery you are doing must stop. You will not drag the name of Biafra into the gutters. But let's come back to this lady called Dora Aquili. She was the only woman in that government who grew some balls, who was able to grab the bull by the horn, and she came out on national TV and said she has not been able to have access to her boss, the president of that so called Nigeria, President Yaradwa. And she being the foreign minister, it was her role to engage the whole world, to let them know the day-to-day -day activities of what is happening in that so-called Nigeria. And she is not ready to lie to the whole world and to her people. And because of just that her action, good luck, Jonathan over time became the president of that so-called Nigeria. Today, you are in the midst of cowards, in the midst of tribal bigots, men who believe in worshipping the politicians, they don't hold them to account. So nobody from the Tinubu camp or the Tinubu government or those in the ministerial positions will come out to speak exactly what is happening to Tinubu. That man was poisoned. He was. He is a sick man, and I pray. I will skip to the loot of my prime minister. Simon Ekpa said we should pray that Tinubu does not kick the bucket. I would have said, if he dies, he dies. But no, I will skip to the loo of my prime minister because I love my prime minister. So I pray that he comes through this one. But the way things are going, <laughs> times, those that know what I'm talking about, they, they know things are looking very, very dire. As we speak today, he is in the land of his beloved country. Those that send him to Nigeria, he is in Europe, he is in France as we speak, and they are working night and day to purge his system to wash off the poison injected in his system. But he's in a state of comatose as we speak. But let's fall back, I digress. Let's get back to what Rufa Yusini is saying because what I will show to you today will blow your mind. Those of you who thought Enam the Kano was making a mistake when he said Buhari is gone and all those things, you thought he was making a mistake? You called him a small boy, you called him a liar because you only believe the things that your two pairs of eyes sees. You believe things you see. And you disbelieve things you don't see. Let us listen to the words of Rafa Yosene, then I'll come back and break it down. Let's break it down. Listen. He should tell us where the president is. That's actually okay. the question. Doctor Abati, one point you did not make is that it's also bad for national security. Okay. That the president of a sovereign state is in a foreign land. Okay. It's also very bad for national security. Hold it there. You see, kudos to Rafa Yosini and the other media guys. All they could do is talk the good talk. They could hope and pray and beg those they call the presidency. To tell them where their president is. Some of them may have the info, but they are scared to speak out. Unlike men like us. That's when we get the details, when we get the memo, when we hear the info. We come out to speak through to power. He's also saying that not knowing the whereabouts of Tinubu will lead to a state of national insecurity. I understand what he's saying. Because it is embarrassing for a country so-called president. To be in a state of comatose. 
in a foreign land not even in an african land but in europe in france le français bonjour je m'appelle now you understand when our prime minister Mazi Samanekpa said that man is not a Nigerian. He didn't come from the Niger area. He came from Guinea. Now you understand that he has a passion for France, not England. Now you understand what is happening. When you check it, all the whole presidents, they have an affiliation with England. But in the case of Tinubu, He's always going to France, going to France back and forth. Now you get it. But I digress. Let us continue and listen to what Rufa is saying. Let us continue. Listen. Listen. Mm. That's how we all collectively condemned President Buhari when he spent almost half of the year okay. outside. Okay. These were those that condemned President Yaradua. Okay. These were those that did occupy Nigeria, but now... I see my friend Daniel Buala say a hey, president can live from any part of the world. That is fine. You should go and open office in Rafa and Gaza. I think start that, that's okay. scandalous. Huh? Really. Let's let's what stop. Let's asking. stop all of this just, now. Just Hold it there. Let me take it back a little bit. Listen to what he said about Buhari. Then I will show you something that will blow your mind. Because when Namikano was talking about G Jibril wearing the mask then Jibril ran away then somebody else came to wear the mask and all those things when they told Buhari to speak his language and he refused I will show you something that will blow your mind because I went to people I said what's going on here we thought you guys told us this guy is no more how come he's still out there and we are seeing him and all those stuff and people in the Western world, they showed me a video that I heard for a long time. I said, no, let me keep this for a long time. They said, this technology is already going on. Not just deep fake where they use computer to, you know, to do an AI stuff on your face. No, there is a mask you will wear that looks like real. It looks 100% real. So let us hear Rufa Yuseni speak on Buhari. Then I'll reveal something that will blow your mind. Listen. That's how we all collectively condemned President Buhari when he spent almost half of the year outside. Boom. That's how we condemned the then President Buhari as he spent almost a year outside. That was how the zoo, they condemned the then late president, Buhari, as he spent almost a year outside of that damnable zoo republic called Nigeria. Right now, I will blow your mind. Listen. Yes, our brother, you've done a very wonderful work on this very video. I want you to watch. Look at a man that you were thinking that his face was normal. <laughs> How he was now pulling out something huge from the face. That was what they used to rule Nigeria then. And uh, they are trying to plan something like that. But they know it's very risky and very dangerous. Of course, Nigeria is at the brink of breaking down. Fulani would not allow that. That was why they placed uh, Shetima, a younger person, behind Tunubu so that if anything untoward happens to Tunubu, which has already happened, Shetima will take off. So Shetima cancelled flights today. He doesn't want anything that will take him off Nigeria so that his eyes will be on the ball. Yes, so that they will not take him out there to kill him. So he cancelled flight. Oh, we'll go Nigeria. I will go the game is over. You have to play your own game. Let and allow Biafra come. Support, all right? And uh, stand by us. And we must do it together. We must blow and let the cat out from the pot together. And Biafra will stand because Nigeria is dead, dusted. All right? Thank you so, so much more again this weekend. I say God bless you all.